question number one coming down the pipe. All right. So first question is how many times a day should I eat? Well, that's a good question. So think of it like this. You basically, the more you eat in terms of how many times you eat is going to be better for sure. And let me give you an example. So let's say that in order to reach your goals, you're trying to gain muscle, build muscle. Um, you've got to get, say, X amount of gallons of gas into your gas tank, okay? But now, you've got, you've got to get in 30 gallons of gas in a day, but the gas tank is only 10 gallons big. So, in essence, if you were dead perfect with the timing, you could basically eat three meals of 10 gallons, but it's, it's very difficult to do that, and it's not very efficient in terms of being able to eat just the right amount and not have it spill on the ground which is over for the tank, which is basically having your fat cells uh, eating too much at one time and having the fat cells basically store fat. So that being said, if you take that 30 gallon total that you need through the day and you know you have a 10 gallon gas tank, you decide to yourself, well, I'm gonna basically feed six times in five gallon increments, that way, there's no way I'm, I'm gonna put more, too much in the tank at once. Maybe there's gonna be a gallon or two left when you eat, but you're only eating five gallons, so to speak. So you're never gonna worry about actually spilling over or eating too much and having excess basically spill over on the ground, which is storing body fat, okay? So that is one really, really, one simple concept that is easy to understand that I've explained it like this, but obviously not so easy to execute. So for those that have, say, a, a job or commitments that make it real difficult, you, you basically can look at it in terms of you got three meals. Usually people are pretty good about eating three meals. Then you're gonna just take three snacks. So you're gonna have, let's just say that you've got three meals that are re really the worth of, say, six gallons right? So you go meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. There's 18 of your gallons, but they're coming in in six, six gallon portions. Then you take three snacks that are going to be, you know, four gallons a piece or three gallons a piece, somewhere smaller, easier to get in, but you know that you're not going to be putting too much into the tank at once. So you're getting all that 30 gallons or say 27 of the 30 gallons into your tank, but none of it is spilling over into the fat cell. None of it is spilling onto the ground, which is the analogy. When you try to overfill your gas tank, it spills on the ground. You try to overeat, eat too much in one sitting, you store fat. Now granted, this is talking about just straight up simple feedings, it's not going into you know, the type of macronutrient you're eating, there's, it gets a lot more complex than this, obviously, but you gotta realize we're just trying to answer this question in a way that's gonna make sense, it's gonna be fairly easy. Now, granted, when we start talking more about um, the macronutrients, we open a whole new can of worms. So, using that concept I just gave you, you're gonna want to make sure that you don't ever eat carbohydrate or sugar on an empty stomach because when that happens, your insulin gets popped. When your insulin gets popped, your body has the ability to store a lot easier, even if you're eating small amounts. So if you're gonna have those sugars or carbohydrates, you make sure you have it at the end of your meal, then it will have a different response in terms of how your body reacts to it. So long and short of it, this example is really to explain to you how to maximize how much you eat, but in a way that your body won't actually be eat, have an easy time turning into fat. So the example of not overfilling your car gas tank is really the example I'm using to make the analogy of not eating too much at one time. So hopefully that makes better sense.